Hey there, Maniacs viewers. You're watching the Main Man channel. It's not just a name. It's a way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this cruel old world. As always, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on all my social media. Links will be in the description. Sign up for all the giveaways. Links will be in the description. Links will be in the comments. That being said, topic of today's video is we have an unpackaging here. We're going to be talking about Jace Medical Antibiotics. So, uh, antibiotics are a way of life, folks. I mean, it's just a, it's a necessity we had to have sometimes in life or we die. It, it, it absolutely is. Uh, earlier this year, I had a bad abscess tooth. And if it wasn't for antibiotics, I would have died. I had to have three rounds of antibiotics, three different antibiotics, and a, a steroid pack to help me get over that. And part of it was I couldn't get in there and get the root canal done right then, and it was so infected. I had to wait a little bit longer before I could get it done. So here's your choices, folks. If you got, if you don't have antibiotics, you got to do a root canal yourself if you can't get to the doctor. Or you got to pull your tooth out. You know, it, it, it is what it is if you got an abscess tooth. You know, I'm just using that as an example, my example of it. But uh, let's say you're out camping somewhere. Let's say you're uh, uh, on a long trip. Let's say you're overseas, whatever. Let's say whatever, uh, a host of things that could happen. You may need some antibiotics. And you don't have them. You may not be able to get access to a doctor to get a prescription to them. Well, during the pandemic, a company called Chase Medical, uh, excuse me, a company called Jace Medical took and they made it for a way for anybody in the U.S. and Canada to get prescribed an emergency supply of antibiotics. And you can get subscribed every year one emergency supply of antibiotics. You fill out a brief medical questionnaire and uh, everything like that and tell them what you're allergic to and I ask you a few health questions. Basically, if you don't have any problem with your liver or your kidneys, it's real simple. If you do, you may have to go into more detail and you may have to actually get a note from your, your doctor or something like that. But like I say, if you don't have any liver disease or kidney disease, all you got to do is finish filling out the questionnaire, snap a picture of your driver's license, and then boom, an actual doctor will get back to you, say it reviewed your file, and prescribed you an emergency supply of antibiotics, and it's sending it to the pharmacy, and you'll be getting your supply within less than a week, okay? So, that being said, uh, they're doing, they're really doing a lot of business right now. And uh, they got, can't always guarantee that uh, you get the full packet right then. You'll get the antibiotics, but you may not get the full package, which you'll see here in a minute. Uh, so you're allowed to do this once a year, okay? So you're allowed to get a full emergency supply once a year. So if you order it now, this time next year, you can order another emergency supply. And as long as you keep these things out dry, you keep them away from light. You keep them away from uh, moisture, uh, the air, you know, all that stuff. You keep them in a cool, dry, dark place. These things will last you forever, just about. You know, I think the shelf life on them actually is like, 10, I'm no expert now, but like 10 years. But you keep these things, they'll last you a long time, okay? And you get a fresh supply every year. So if you do have to use some of them, it's fine. Now, I would recommend if you had something going on that you uh, consulted a physician. But if you were in a uh, position you couldn't consult a physician, they've got a plan for that. All right, so let me show you what you get. So in this big full bag, you get this case. It says Jace Medical on it. Okay? Now, you open it up. In my case, what they sent was, it got a little handle on it too. It'd go in a good gold bag or get home bag or your luggage if you're traveling or whatever. 
In my case, they prescribed me five different antibiotics. One of them is in this box, and the rest of them are in pill form. And I'm just trying to cover up my name and info and everything on there. So you got four pills across here, and you got a box of pills right here. So in my case, since I'm not allergic to anything, they prescribed me these. Yours may be different, but they prescribed me azithromycin, which is substituted for Zithromax. Uh, doxycycline, which is substituted for Lime Pack. I may not be able to <laughs> pronounce these too good. Cipro Floaxin HCL 500 milligram tab, which is substituted for Cipro. And Medtron, this is a, this is a strong one. Medtron Idazole 500 milligram tablets substituted for Flagel. This is the last antibiotic I had to take for my abscess tooth, by the way. All right, and amoxicillin, uh, dash pot clavel, substituted for augmenting. So, that being said, that's the ones they sent from me, and it came from an actual pharmacy, Hillcrest Pharmacy, LLC, in uh, Midvale, Utah. And the doctor that prescribed it for me is Dr. Mara Holcomb. Okay. So that's all the info I'm going to share on that. But it comes with this emergency antibiotic guide. So it tells you if you're having a, a host of problems, what to do and how to treat it with what antibiotic. And I mean, yeah, I, I would definitely suggest going to a medical professional, getting prescribed what antibiotic they want to, getting it filled at your pharmacy, uh, or getting to a medical professional, you know, say you're having trouble getting to them to a pharmacy, you know, contact them on phone or FaceTime, whatever. Say, hey, I got these antibiotics right here. What do I need to take? You know, if you're having a problem. But if not, if you're out in the woods or something like that, camping away, you know, you're stranded, uh, the world goes to shit, something, the shit hits the fan, you've got this emergency antibiotic guide right here in your little packet to take care of you and tell you what to do. And it can save your life, folks, or save somebody you know. Uh, and like I say, you can do a year supply at a time. Uh, you can also do uh, a year supply and one dependent at a time if you've got children. Okay, so if you got two kids, you can do one. Your wife can do one, and you get a supply for for you and a dependent, and she can get a supply for her and a dependent, and that way you cover both your kids. And, you know, folks, if you're not having to use them, they stockpile. And you've got, you got antibiotics for PrEP, a lot safer than the fish antibiotics. And in the past, you know, back when I was low on money and working minimum wage and stuff, I took some fish antibiotics for a few things, and they they, got, they worked, but they, they got, bloated my gut up. <laughs> they blowed my gut up, that's for sure. But anyway, that being said, and that was fish moxing. Uh, fish or moxicillin. But anyway, uh, they're having so much business right now, they may not be able to send you the case, and they may not be able to send you the uh, emergency guide right then. They may just be able to send you the, the antibiotics, but they'll send them to you as soon as they can. But uh, they're getting hit up with business, and the reason they're getting hit up with business uh, is a lot of the prepping community is catching on. And uh, talking about them and, uh, you know, selling them and speaking about them on their channel. I actually learned about these from God, Family, and Guns. And if you go over there and watch Mark's video on antibiotics at God, Family, and Guns, he's got a discount code. So you should go over there and watch him. But anyway, that being said, I love y'all. Y'all the best people in the world. God bless you. And I'll catch you next time.